Hey guys, welcome to another episode of uh, current state of autopilot. This version, 32.12.2. So there's not a whole lot new in this version, so this part's gonna be uh, fairly abbreviated. And I'm also taking a different freeway. I'm gonna go south now on 131, and then gonna take a freeway exchange and then come back because the freeway interchange coming the other way involves some uh, cross traffic uh, as well as like it's one of those clover leaf. Um, the big thing with this version is summon, uh, smart summon. So I'll show you that after we do this part. So I'm about a mile from uh, the turn that I'm going to be taking. And I've noticed that it, it doesn't always go around traffic once it starts getting close to somewhere it has to make a maneuver. It's asking me to wiggle the steering wheel, which I did. It's putting us into our exit lane. This is a pretty easy um, interchange. What I should have gone is gone east. Because that used that does a clover leaf. Oh well, we'll catch it on the back side. things is that pickup trucks are now correctly rendered in the uh, display. Um, also it now uh, renders double yellow lines so that's much more accurate. Oh and then uh, oncoming tra traffic is also present. I can't remember if that was going on in my previous review. And then with the Model 3's the display is right here. You can actually rotate this 3D display around and you can actually see backwards. Uh, really zoomed out, you can see like all the cars around you. It's pretty crazy. Okay, so this has been the car driving itself. Um, it's taking the correct exit lane, it's slowing down. And it switches to conventional autopilot. And then it will come to a stop at the stoplight, whether it's green or red. And I need to be in the left lane. I don't think it's actually picking the correct lane. I think it's just picking a lane, but I would have to test that. So I'm gonna turn it off. And Cloverleaf turn at 35. Now here's one of the flaws with autopilot currently. We got to get up to freeway speeds and it really takes its time doing that. Um, it really needs to push it a little bit more. In this case I have my own lane so I have my own new lane so it's not a big deal but if I had to merge into oncoming traffic it's actually pretty soft on getting up to speed. Uh, so now there has been an improvement in um, stop and go traffic. Uh, autopilot now if you're going from a stop and then traffic's, oh here, they need to fix this too. It's, it centers itself in the lane, but it really needs to hug the other lane. Anyway, in uh, stop and go traffic, it now starts going um, a lot faster uh, than previously. So it's not like, you know, annoying people behind you by hanging out too long. And it needs to do that on the freeway on ramps. Here's the exit lane. We're gonna, and then it's gonna fork, and we need to stay to the left. Now coming up on our right, uh, you can see barely where those cars are coming on. So those cars are gonna cross us and we need to cross them to get to the off-ramp. Okay, we've got a good stack of them. So Autopilot's gotta squeeze itself into there. Let's see how it does. Oh, this is a really good, good challenge. All right, trying to complete maneuver. Car behind me is not letting me in. There we go. And it did it. Good job. 
Now this is a good example of a situation where autopilot needs to have a different approach in the winter because when this is uh, snowy or icy, you're pretty much just gonna slip off the side um, if it's really icy. So autopilot like really needs to be, like have a super gentle mode for deceleration. Uh, that's another thing that needs to, so it, it's, it's a lot better in traffic. It's starting to go faster. It's still not good enough at um, slowing down smoothly. Um, I think it should be able to just kind of coast using regen to a stop. Autopilot uses too much brake when it comes to a complete stop. And you can't do that in icy conditions. You really need to be gentle. You need to be able to be gentle. So I'm sure that'll come. All right, so this turns into an exit only. So we have to get over. We got a pickup right there. Nobody's behind us, so this should be okay. Oh, there's also the new visualization here where the the targeted lane for a lane change is, is highlighted and there's this little shadow where the car is gonna change. So that's a little bit different. I forgot about that. One other thing that's been updated is some changes to uh, the uh, dash cam. So um, now it will start deleting photos in the in the loop videos. It'll start deleting videos so, you, so your chip doesn't run out of room so fast. And also it now records the rear camera as well. Um, so you have four cameras, a front facing wide camera. I think it's the wide one. Uh, the two repeaters on the side, which look, which look backwards, and then the rear view camera. So you got lots of opportunities to catch a license plate or catch the face of somebody that damages your car. Now let's check out uh, some summon. Here I am underneath a storefront. And here is the vehicle out there. So when you're within range and you pull up the app, there's a button here called Come to Me which I'm gonna push right now. And um, then right here, it's gonna switch to a, a super low res, uh, it, like representation of obstacles and stuff. And um, there's another option to do this. If you go into summon, you go into smart summon. It also shows you a satellite map of the area and where you are roughly. If you use this target thing, you can tell it where in the parking lot you want it to go. Um, this is a public shopping mall, generally, you want it to come to you, and so that's the button you're going to want to push. I'm going to hit come to me. Please monitor, summon in progress. So that scratchy stuff is all obstacles. And then, uh, alright, let's watch the vehicle do its thing. Now there's a vehicle that just about to back up so I don't know if we're gonna obstruct that person or not driving pretty good so it tops out at about five to six miles per hour all right well there's the vehicle made it all the way over here Jeez. 
So there you have it. That's the news from Lake Wobega. Uh, that's the news for uh, the latest version of Autopilot. And uh, next, we're awaiting improvements on uh, Smart Summon and also recognition of stop signs and traffic signals and city street driving. That'll be definitely next level as well as improvements to just the general flow and uh, workings of autopilot. So yeah, stay tuned.